This is a public roadway that skirts the WSA. It's a patchwork of public and private land. See, the private land is highly coveted because if you can get a couple of acres of it, then you can ask the government, the BLM, to give you a lease on the adjoining public land, and you can call yourself a rancher. That down there is a tributary of the Chico Arroyo. It's a major tributary. It's all just grazed over to its maximum, maximum grazing use. It's just totally used up. So that over the ridge, it's all public land. That's the wilderness study area out there. Erosion out here is a big, big problem. A lot of the terrain looks like that. <clears throat> Forage isn't given a chance to grow back to help cut back on that kind of erosion. I'd say this land out here could use a little bit of a break. Looks like this all because of cows. Here's your public lands.
this land is not being managed for quote unquote sustainable forage. Sustainable being managed to feed as many cows as possibly possible. This place is ready for a large livestock operation. See that corral? Except all the grass is gone. Here's a pasture. Here's what's left of a pasture. Here's what's left of a pasture over here, too.
I'd say this land out here could use a break. Could use a chance to recover some. Property owners out here have set up a well association. There's a pipeline installed <clears throat> that's draining the aquifer. So they can pump all the water they need to out of the ground for their cows. So that's not a problem. Of course, they're only going to do that when all the groundwater's gone. Groundwater's gone. They can move their cows. What do you think happens to the wild animals? There's some springs out here, here and there too, believe it or not natural springs out here, here and there, if you know where they are to look. But they're not really flowing anymore because of all that groundwater pumping. As I was saying, there are some natural springs out here, here and there, believe it or not. They're not really flowing anymore because of stuff like that. So much groundwater's been pumped out for cows to slurp on. while they're making the top of the ground look like this. that. Most of this erosion is because of cows.
anyway, long story short, don't believe that this terrain looks like this in its natural state. This is a man-made, very much a man-made appearance to all of this terrain. Limroad 1102 looks like this practically its entire length. Let your friends have some. 